Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I hope everyone's doing well. Today I'll show you our spin on chebe butter using um, uh, butters and oils. You can make chebe butter uh, in different ways. There's several videos out there about how people made theirs. Uh, chebe, chebe powder was obtained from uh, Sahel Cosmetics. So we didn't want to jump on the bandwagon until we'd done our research, but the powder is quite good quality because uh, I've sampled it myself on my hair and it tends to have a lot of characteristics so you just want to make sure that you start with high quality butters and oils and you'll be fine so today I'll be showing you our main butter that we will be adding uh, to the Chebe butter mix uh, that will be uh, curcum butter it's an awesome butter and uh, we've got muru muru butter a silky butter that penetrates the hair shaft very thoroughly and you can see how very soft this butter is it's very silky it's able to penetrate the shafts really well we also are adding our uh, oils a high quality uh, selection of high quality oils now this is an organic pumpkin seed oil it's very thick and uh, it's very moisturizing you you, you may want to try it in your mixes and we also have castor oil of course which is very good for the hair, as you all know. Uh, and we have uh, baobab oil, very rich and uh, known for uh, hair growth, and that's black cumin seed oil. It's a very rich oil. It's uh, It has a lot of great characteristics. And I'm gonna talk more about that uh, in this video as, uh, as we move along. So next, I'll be uh, showing you uh, the how we infuse the oil with chebe powder so we actually use quite a lot of the chebe powder as you can see it's so thick um we heated it up just a little bit because we wanted to uh, protect the the oil that that is in there so that's organic hemp seed oil which is also very good for the hair mix that up with some extra virgin olive oil so you, you can see how very thick it is because we added quite a good amount of the chebe powder I just wanted to make sure that everything's well infused and properly uh, mixed with the oils because I didn't want to heat it up that much. You know that heating up oils sometimes uh, decreases the, the qualities and properties of the oil itself. So I just wanted to make sure that I incorporated a lot of this. So then you go ahead and sieve it and there you go. It's so rich looks very nice on its own i just felt like using it on its own but i need to incorporate it into the butter so that's the butters uh, mixed together and then melted so it gives that golden hue as you can see and we'll be adding all the oils that we would be including in the mix uh, first of all is the organic pumpkin seed oil um it just changes the color of the oil and i like to see how it mixes it just gives that different color I like to add different oils and that's a black cumin seed oil very rich oil it's actually known as one of the best oils on the planet and that's a castor oil thick uh, it has a very good uh, quality for growth and conditioning of the skin and hair so I like to show this as a close-up just so you know what you're buying when you order that's organic um, golden jojoba oil it's uh, a very rich oil, penetrates the hair nicely, and that's baobab oil, which is known for hair growth. It's kind of like the same color as uh, jojoba oil, just so you know when you order these oils. These are like how they look in their virgin form. And that's the um, infused oil, that's the infused uh, chebe oil. It's so dark, and it just immediately turns everything blackish <laughs> i just love how it uh, changes the color of the oil uh, i'll just uh, go ahead and mix it and the oil turns completely greenish black as, as you can see clearly here i like to show this as a close-up just so you can get into the video and uh, take it all in i, I mean mixing this up so mixing it all up just uh, makes a uh, it's so much fun so i like to uh, incorporate this first of all using my uh, stand mixer 
Um, you, you should definitely leave this in the fridge for a while so you can get like um, a semi-thick um, um, mixture before you then go ahead and whip it. But I was not patient enough, but uh, that's the ideal thing to do. Put it in the fridge and uh, get it looking medium soft before you whip it. So here you, here you go. This is how it just goes on whipping and whipping and i like to watch how it transforms from one texture to the other at first it looks really uh soft and silky kind of like a, a thick lotion but i have to tell you it doesn't remain like this and i really don't like it to remain like this because i like my butters to be uh slightly thick and because there are no stabilizers in this product uh it's good to have it thick so that in case you're in a warm environment it doesn't just turn into an oil on you uh, so it's better to start with a relatively thick product and you can see this is when it settles down it then becomes um, a bit thicker this is just how I like it um, so normally if I were to apply this on my skin I would do that after I take a shower and then it would be able to lock in the moisture properly so now I go ahead to put it into um, a container and it just drops like a dollop. <laughs> it's, it's really nice experimenting with these products. Uh, it's a good hobby of mine, actually. And coupled with the fact that my kids, they now know that mommy makes creams in the kitchen and the they use it as much as they want to. So that's uh, the, how the mixture looks. And... Um, now i know a lot of people have asked us if we have chebe butter on amazon or on our website you can now find it on our website or amazon if you if you don't want to make yours you can simply order this from our website thank you bye